ende bayi asim ko bosin ke tamana na yimma asim kan ko yechi kwelu ya zelo fadi ko sidi ya bo eastern news 24 bo e bayi si wene hotelu ni ya bo ni ko ozi di oke ba basta maki ene mena obodai no ni mia ana basta maka woro wendi bo na zo fadi ko sidi abona ya bo bosi zigi ina ga fete ni rapo afo channel ai ka balo ke subscribe bo antono on your notification maka gini ai ni ti pon update daily basta maka yene me no budai no nimia ambasta maka woro we di bo na zo ari ko sidi ya wetelu ni ru akwo bi fine akpukwa evening tea ka ji makia ka ji maria ai na akpu ya evening tea ifa bo dia from prime minister in exile wele ifo wele egwa umi igbo oni gese ya bi fe no di nkegi igese ya bi fe ikabalo eh ku efichelo eh basta maki yenda nine bia from prime minister ku ni rakupo no bosi nketa ai na bo evening ti igese drop ora your own comment over to over to you sir it is evidence that nigeria has been on a societal slide and seated on a time bomb and now they want to turn bia from land to their refugee camp I welcome the Prime Minister to the stage as he addresses the recent happenings that seeks the attention of the Biafran government. Prime Minister, His Excellency, Maharaj Simon Ekpa, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Biafra, welcome to the stage, sir. Greetings, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you are listening from, fellow Biafrans all over the world. I welcome every one of you to this emergency space this afternoon from our location. Good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press that are listening from your various location. Whenever the need arises for us to address the Biafra people and keep them informed on the current affairs as the Biafra liberation, the declaration of the restoration of the independent state of Biafra, comes close and closer. Today, I have come to this space to once again give a warning to the Nigeria terrorist state and a representative in Biafra land who want to turn Biafra land into refugee and IDP camp to understand that for the fact that the Biafra government has sacrificed everything to make Biafra land a peaceful, secured place in the entire Nigeria area, entire Niger area, does not give them the audacity to begin to import terrorists because they have failed to use them, those of them in the military and police, to infiltrate our land as the Biafra Liberation Army, the Biafra resistance fighters are engaging them head on. Today, Biafra land has become the most safest place in Niger area. And these people who have not provided enabling environment for our people, they have castigated every effort of the Biafra government. They have used propaganda to pilot how Biafra land is not safe, how insecurity is everywhere. And today, we have seen the reality on ground that Biafra land is the only place where they see that is a secure place for them to import internally displaced so-called people from the northern Nigeria into Biafra land. I have come this afternoon to inform them that Biafra land is not yet secured for any refugee, for any IDP camp from northern Nigeria or from anywhere else. We have not secured our land. Our land will become secured only when Biafra have a total control on Biafra territory and of course we will have regained our independence and control our land without any infiltrator from the Nigeria terrorist army and police. Then, it is only then Biafra land will become safe for refugees. For now, anybody coming to Biafra land, your security is not guaranteed. Wherever you are going to stay in any state, in Abia State, in Enugu State, or any part of Biafra land, as long as we are still under Nigeria, where Nigeria continues to perpetrate these crimes against the people, indigenous people, you are not safe in Biafra land. And so, I am warning 
on behalf of the Biafra government, whoever that is involved in pushing the so-called entirely displaced people, which are terrorists, as far as we are concerned, we can never trust anything from Nigeria. So Northern Nigeria has been overrun by terrorists sponsored by the Nigeria state for only one agenda called Islamic agenda. And today, people are being moved from Northern Nigeria to Biafra land that they hate with passion. And as they are moving them from the ancestral land to be for land, according to them, remember that strangers have already occupied their land. Ask yourself, who are those occupying the land of the people that today have found or are looking for a safe haven in their for land? That their for land, the system is destroying. That their for land, they told you that their for army have destroyed. That they have allowed, they told you that Samanaka is bringing in security. They have found safe haven and security in that same Biafra land. What is that? What does that tell you? It tells you that we have defeated Nigeria. It tells you that the Biafra government have succeeded in making Biafra land the only secure place in the entire Nigeria area. And the only agenda and the only motive they have is to continue to push for the destruction of the Afro land since they have not succeeded in using their military uniform and police to destroy our land they now want to use the people they called internally displaced there are places in yoruba land there are enough land in yoruba land there are a lot enough land in lagos lagos is secured we are calling on them the so-called president today is from yoruba land so yoruba land is secured they must move these people to Yoruba land or to other part of Nigeria where they believe they have control over. Because Biafra land is not safe for them. I am telling you the fact, we can never guarantee any security of anybody from Northern Nigeria in the name of coming to seek refugee. It is not yet time for you to come to Biafra land to seek refuge. We will grant you refugee, we will grant you asylum, According to in accordance with international law, we will give you asylum protection only and only when Biafra become an independent state. At this point, we are in the state of war with the Nigeria terrorist state. Just the reason why they have chased you out of your ancestral land is the reason men have risen up in Biafra land and they are armed. All of you from Northern Nigeria that are looking for safe haven in Biafra land, I want to inform you that our men are paying the price that will make our women not to leave their ancestral land and move to ADP camp. Men are dying for it. And for that reason, it is not yet time <coughs> for us to allow anybody or any infiltrator from any part of Nigeria or from any part of the world to come to our land and live freely while people are dying and fighting the same government that has made your life miserable in your own country and your own nation and your own state. This particular emergency space today is to call the attention of whoever that is involved in this threat against behalf of people to understand that we will resist you in the morning we will resist you in the afternoon, we will resist you in the night. And that facility that they say is a place where they are going to be staying and learn, I am telling you the fact, it is going to raise down. We will raise it down. You will come back to Biafra land when we have become an independent state, recognized by the United Nations. We are not going to be distracted by this shambolic love that these evaders and enablers in our land are trying to show. They never love you. I want those who have actually been deceived by their propaganda that Samanekpa is destroying Biafra land to ask yourself question. Is it not the same Biafra land Samanekpa is destroying that they want to know that they have found to be the only safest place for people in the northern Nigeria, displaced people in northern Nigeria to come and live? It is not going to be possible. We are not going to say that uh, we will not accept refugees when the time comes. But I'm just telling you today that now is not the right time for any person to come to Biafra land in the name of refugee. We do not have that particular atmosphere. 
We do not have that particular conducive environment. We do not have that secure environment for you who have been displaced in northern Nigeria to come with your hate and your terrorism to our land at this point. It is not going to be accepted, accepted by us and we are going to resist it. So what I'm trying to say today is that those coming to Biafra land, your security of life and property will never ever be guaranteed. Not by the Nigeria state, not by the Biafra government. You are on your own. And whatever you see, you take. Do not blame anybody. This warning goes to whoever that is involved, the enablers in our land, Rupus Adima and his group, to understand that you know what we can do. And you know what we have been doing. If you think you are going to take this warning for granted, let them come. And the rest will be history. Thank you very much. I want everybody to ask very relevant question, especially those who have been doubting our resolve in securing their for land today. Your eyes should be open. That among all the states in Nigeria, it is the bear for land that they say is insecure. Some people have destroyed. It's the only place they found secure to bring northern displaced people to have a refugee and have training in Biafra land. That is completely unacceptable. We are going to accept them when they have gone through our screening, which is going to be introduced by only Biafra government. And we are going to ascertain that the people coming are not terrorists. We will give them refugee status. We will give them protection in accordance with international law. But at this point, anybody coming from northern Nigeria will be regarded as a terrorist. You never liked us. You hate us with impunity. And we will never, ever accept you. So, until Biafra become an independent state, we are in the state of war. And I hope you understand what is going on. So, we urge those who are being deceived to understand that if you come to Biafra now, believe me, your security will never, ever be guaranteed. And because we love human life, we love, we respect life and dignity of people, I will want to put this warning ahead of time. Because we are never going to sacrifice or compromise our own security for the security of anybody. The security of Biafra women and children is the utmost priority of the Biafra government. And we are not going to compromise that in order to be called good people or in order to this to uh, people to praise us or anything no we don't we don't need your praise we don't need your acknowledgement our only responsibility as a government of biafra is to make sure that our women will not be looking for a place to go and seek refuge in the southern nigeria in yoruba land or in the northern nigeria or in middle belt we we'll make sure our women will be protected in our land, in Biafra land. And we are not going to leave our ancestral land for anybody. That particular, that particular agenda has been achieved by the Biafra government using the Biafra Liberation Army resistance fighters and all Biafra armed group that has made it possible that our land is today a secure place for people to even think of coming to build any facility for training internally displaced people in the northern Nigeria. Isn't that a um, very awkward situation? He's listening because he was following the Biafra struggle then. I don't know about now. And um, the person left his bag and the, the father picked him up to Sweden. That's where you know he ran to Sweden. And with this kind of attitude, the company will never ever accept anybody from that our side because the people came to work and uh, with the visa and everything and then they say you say he's sick and the, and then the brother came from sweden to repeat the person and that's how the person disappeared and went to probably go there to seek asylum so the thing is that um with this kind of attitude you block other people's opportunities to come and that's why many people did not even get uh, uh you know uh, interview at the, at the embassy and those who get interviewed they have one problem or the other because the same people who give this job are also reporting when other people did, uh, came and they disappeared so somebody picked them to go to place their field there 
they're going to have a better opportunity or something like that. So uh, these are the things that affect other people, you know, in that uh, particular field. So yes, other people got, other people didn't get, and I'm happy you are one of those who didn't get and you are here today talking. Okay, so it is uh, one of those things. I was not expecting people to fear appreciation. I am doing this as a humanitarian job. Uh, I have done I have done uh, humanitarian work almost all my life, including when I was back in Africa. I help people to aspire to whatever they want to be. You know, I help people from when I was doing sports. You know, it was just part of me. I am happy to see people being happy. So once I can be able to make you happy, it gives me energy. So this is just who I am. And uh, I think more of others than myself. I'm kind of person that will use whatever I have I have to make you happy, even when I'm suffering. And that's how I, I was trained, and that I have not changed it today. And that's why you see that uh, I, you know, I put my life on the Biafra, even when there is a health risk and all that. I, it doesn't, I don't care, as long as I see that it's a, you know, that is a result coming from what is happening. I remember when I was doing uh, broadcast every now and every night, uh, I would, every, nobody, I'm not sleeping. People get worried. People got worried. Everybody's calling me that time. Please, we don't want you to break down. We don't want you to do this. I was making broadcast every hour, three times a day. Even the IPOB Nigerians, they were all surprised. How can this guy be making broadcast three times a day? Oh, he, he, he is coming every day. He has come in the morning. He has come in today. We are monitoring. I'm monitoring. So nobody has that kind of energy. But because I see that what I was doing was yielding results. And today, I'm not making broadcast, right? I'm not coming every day to make broadcast. The job has been done. And the movement is moving like a train. That is who I am. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, my PM. Please, if I have opportunity, I have two more. Thank uh, you. When, when, if there is chance, you will. Let's uh, give uh, the microphone to Biafra Unite. And then, uh, Betty, if the Prime Minister is here, we will see. Continue. Uh, Biafra Unite, please uh, grab the mic. Thank you, my comrade, Pastor Van Van Van. Your Excellency, Prime Minister of the BLG, i.e. Mazi Simonek Banjoko, I greet you with a loud voice. Thank you for your great work you are doing. I have two recommendations, but that will come at the end of my questions. So the first question is, <clears throat> for the past few days after the Biafra Liberation Army released the uh, Yoruba soldier serving the zoo who came to attack and slaughter our people but was intercepted then sunday iboho sent you a direct message through voice note which was aired publicly and went viral so since then the afon jazz it seems like the internet has remained quiet I only saw one person attacked you. I think that was early today. But since then, all the Afon jazz have remained mute, uh, mute. So, because of the shock of a man that they once supported as their leader before the fraudulent emergence of Tinubu as the zoo president, now addressed you as my prime minister. So, my question out of this is, although I am aware that we have not been fighting, we have never fought any tribal war in this Biafra, you know, liberation movement. But some people mistook us. They took us for granted. They even saw us as if we are fighting against them and they began to fight against us when we are not fighting against them. So do you think that this is an opportunity and the by Daluli Nenu Nkuku Kunu Siwe Bambo when a serene if I name many Lapuko, the teacher. Oh, we think truly you could be for Malapun Kunuti along Kuni for Jenny Rapuko, Bastamaka Yabi if I could decosi Ada and decosi at bottom near Rapuko. 
obiko wa adun chole ejo biko ndi igbo oma na ege nti sana ya ba adun oge edugu kunu oga ya kpo no wa imiti nke ebo jo wa ye one night we can no no nko gbolo e ba ko ya no ze oge edugu oge onye obina bo onye bo ya puta ti ebe ya bi fo no oke ya bi fe akaligo na ni kanu wo di fo me ni ru akwo to si fo yo jo me ni ru akwo bu na osina na ochozi ibo ye nigeria to se wa bi fo jo me no and in the o he ze ni ne man di ni ne wo ne kuchira ndi gbo onu fa nobody is doing something about it nobody is doing anything about it if i na so but also ogologo oyibo Mazi Nandi Kano, but the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, I pop. Sina make that a big deal when they address the alum. Senior Biafra corner. Okay, to tell you that what that in Mazi Nandi Kano Nebu Nezogu. Since the Mazi Nandi Kano take care of the system of Nigeria till now. The system ne busy agua. Everything is collapsing. Where is he with the phone and hotter? What's it? The more you hold him, the more the economy destroyed. He said these things. Oh, could you? Obudi fumu na ipata ine bubu kamake je yondi flani na mejo mejo yondi flani. Che phone ha buzo eh? Major Debo, or will you Debo men in the flood? There's nothing an evil man, what if you evil man made a flood? No, I need a synergy yo in the flood about the killings in 1914. Now, to be gone, or will you Debo men in the flood? First, he formed the jail. Where conquer, conquer. See how sunny in the way, but ah, he conquer Kuala Nibo. Oh, for you, but alone. But my son, I can't see that car, man. Me, I'm the key for Adelo. Achobia, Kebu, Oni, Ibo, Ole, Wan, Niale. Um, ya bi febo. Obu di enji makia webia. Imobu ni ne go num. Ni fa ine kudi ra kuwa. Mazina ni kanu stand with um justice, equity and fairness. O when they may be the witcher Obola Jodna Jia. Sunday boho, a kwedi de lapia. A kwa the same thing mazina ni kanu nazo kwa nazo. Ndi wa bono wun meeting, jo na ju. A guna kwa ham no no. Dalu di ne kusi ne serai. Obu na kapa bosi zgi na bani ro apo. E serai na moninti na Eastern News 24. Kabaro ki subscribe and turn on your notification. Kela pe misi ene for update. Dika na drop ya ni ro apo. Ogeni ne. Dalu no umunem. Obu na kuhamnon.